Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing some summer meal prep in my kitchen with some of the stuff that I harvested in my own garden and out in the gardens locally where I live. So we went blueberry picking this day and I was just cleaning and sorting out the blueberries, saving them in some containers. And then that night I decided to whip up a batch of sourdough blueberry bagels. So I just mixed the dough in the mixer and let it rise overnight. And then I baked those off in the morning and this is what they looked like. They came beautiful. And then to go with the blueberry bagels, I decided to make a batch of almond blueberry cream cheese. So I soaked the almonds in water for a couple hours just so they would soften up in the blender. Now I do have a high speed blender, but I don't love it for making things like almond cream cheese or almond ricotta cheese because I find that it turns it into almond butter and that's not exactly the taste I want. So I find that soaking the nuts first, you can easily do this with cashews, but my son has a cashew allergy, so I've just been substituting it with almonds. So all you do is you soak the almonds and then drain out most of the water. I like to add lemon juice, nutritional yeast, some salt, and then for this one, I added some blueberries in. You could also add some agave if you want it on the sweeter side, or you could add some local honey, depending on, you know, if you eat honey or not. So I blended this a couple times and then I added a little bit more water to make it a little bit creamier. And then once this sits in the refrigerator, it does get a little bit more creamy. So I would suggest making it the day before you wanna eat it and then put it in the fridge and let it sit overnight so it really like soaks up everything and then eating it the next day so it's a little bit softer. So this was what I harvested from my garden that morning and I couldn't decide if I wanted to make salsa or a no cook pasta sauce, but I decided on the pasta sauce. So all you have to do to make this pasta sauce is you have to just cut a slit in the tomatoes and then you use a grater and you grate the tomatoes so that the skin kind of stays out of it. And that creates just like the juicy part of the tomato and it creates a nice thick sauce.
So for this no cook tomato sauce, you can actually have it sit on the counter all day or sit in the sun the whole day so that by the time you're ready to eat it, the flavors have developed or you could just eat it fresh as is. It has a much milder flavor than a traditional cooked pasta sauce, but I think it's perfect for the summer and especially when you get fresh tomatoes out of the garden, you want nothing more than to just use them in every way that you can. So I just flavored this with some minced garlic, some fresh basil from my garden, a little bit of herb oil that I have, just a little bit, and some salt. And you can use whatever seasonings you'd like in your tomato sauce. So now I'm going to be making some homemade tofurkey slices. So the first thing you have to do is take a block of extra firm tofu and press it for a few hours up to a day. And then once you take the tofu out of the tofu press, you're just going to put it right into a food processor. Once you have it in the food processor, you're going to add some liquid smoke, soy sauce, seasonings of choice. You can use a poultry seasoning. I also like to use this ham broth base because that gives it a nice smoky flavor. So between the liquid smoke and that broth base, it's nice and smoky. And you're just going to blend that until it's like a nice smooth paste.
Once you have that smooth paste, you're just going to spread it out in a nice, thin, even layer on a parchment lined baking sheet. You don't need any oil. You just wanna spread it out really thin. And then I like to sprinkle the black pepper on top of it so that this way it looks a little bit more like a deli slice. And then you're just gonna bake that in the oven at 400, I wanna say for like 20 minutes, but really just until it firms up and then you wanna let it cool completely and then you can slice it into nice little slices and keep it in your refrigerator. I have also frozen mine and thawed it before and it came great. And then you can use this right like you would any other deli slice in a sandwich or a wrap or something like that.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see in the comments down below. Leave a comment and let me know what is your favorite thing to use your garden tomatoes for because other than salsa and pasta sauce and freezing them to make marinara sauce, I feel like I'm running out of ideas. So let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.